Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kid here, and today I'm going to bring you guys Pike and Shot, the English Civil War. England, 1643. The rift between the King and Parliament has finally led to civil war. The first major battle at Edge Hill in War Warwickshire last year was indecisive. All over the country, local forces are massing in support of the King. Or Parliament. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. We're going to play the first battle, the Battle of Stratton Cornwall, May 1643. The Earl of Stratton's Parliamentian army outnumbers ours and is blocking our route to the east. They are deployed in a strong position on a hill. However, they have sent most of their horse away to the skewered board mine. Our general, Sir Ralph Hopton, has decided that a rapid attack will... <clears throat> Hold on. That a rapid attack while the rebel forces are divided is our best hope of a victory. So I'm sorry if this is copyright noted, because on my last channel, this had got um copyright for the music in it. Purchase all these units. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So it is our turn. So we are in deployable mode. And as you can see here, we have parliamentary units all in this uh, ridge area and great cover. And they are on the hill, actually. So, what shall I do? That we are. Wait. Wait. No, I do not want to do that. Move these pike men over here. And we're going to start moving up our cavaliers to the southern part of the map. So. Our light guns are going to go in this middle force. These guys need to be moved up. Deploy our, hold on, light guns right there and let's end the turn. Now it shall be out of turn. Residential shooting phase. He has not yet shot this turn. Oh no. So they're getting some hits here and there, but not very good hits. I will say that. Wow. No melee phase? Alrighty. Parliamentian turn. Parliamentarian, I apologize. So the best way to actually gain this is actually by um, charging at the opponent's units. Oh, some cannons are actually able to disrupt one of our units already in one of the first stages of the battle. Oh, so our cannons are not able to get any hits. Disrupted. If you have also disrupted a Parliamentian unit... Fantastic job. Can we charge? Yes. The unit being charged is attempting to evade the charge. There's a chance it will be caught in the rear. Yes, so they have 
rear attack, and now they are fragmented. Wow. And they break. Absolutely fantastic. Don't not follow them, no. Wow. So as you can see, you can actually see how much damage we do to these units. We're going to open up. Cannons get a little bit of hits. Not too many, though. We're going to open up. Zero hits. It's okay. Oh, so I walked right into that uh, trap. See if we can charge these units. We only have 8% of losing, and they invade. Rear attack, and they are disrupted. And they are now fragmented. Fantastic. Open up on that unit, and we do some great damage. Oh, no. So, we're going to charge, and we're just going to try to catch them out. Now we have a th we have a one percent of winning a draw of sixty nine and a lose of thirty percent. We're gonna take a risk, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, that went the opposite way. Never mind. And I just realized that that was our uh <clears throat> that was our disrupted unit, and we did that. Not smart by me. I could have charged there, but I did not want to. Oh, can we open up on this unit? We will be able to next turn. Can't work. We cannot forget about this flank. We will move our cavaliers up. So what I want to do, I want this force over here to come around the back of the Parmentian units. This force over here, a small force, and then a main push. But these, uh, Parliamentian force is absolutely huge. And they have the uphill advantage, that, which is not a good thing. Move up our dragoons. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the turn. Oh, and our cannons open up, and they actually get a hit on our... Oh, so melee. Okay, um, close casualties there. And another Parliamentian unit breaks. Oh, no, they led into the trap. Why have our units gone that far in? Should never follow them. Oh, no. <laughs> you just need to be smarter than that, because everybody can now open fire on you. No! We're probably going to lose that unit. Oh, no. But now we do have, actually, some cover. So we are able to open up. Open up. Open up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we do zero damage there, and we do three damage with our gonna melee face. Oh, no, our units are taking some casualties. We do not want that. It's not our turn. Alrighty, guys. So, this guy is pretty, uh, screwed. We're gonna come in, and we're gonna charge, and they have evaded. Fantastic. So we are able to open fire, and we do when we get some damage on that unit. Let's see what our cannons can do. Great. We're going to charge. Oh, and they have evaded. Um, I do not want that to happen. Alrighty, guys. So, what's our chances of... We're going to open fire. Fantastic. Oh, so that unit has reacted. We're going to come in. And we're going to take them out. Let's open up on that unit. 
Nice. I want to move there. And next time we should be able to open up on that unit. We are in range. Fantastic. So now we're going to go. Our Cavaliers and Dragoons are now going to make a sharp. Wait, hold on. Sharp right when they get up over here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's just look at the battlefield. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the turn, and that will be it for this episode of Pike and Shot, the Battle of Stratton, the English Civil War. Oof. Units coming under some heavy fire. Let's see what happened here with our melee phase. Oh no! And one of our units are now fragmented. Not good. Oh no. So we have some parliamentarian units actually rooting, which is good. Some units have broke. Oh. Can we please not lose that unit? That unit has gone way too far up. Oh no. I'm not going to be surprised if that unit gets disrupted. Oh, cannons open up. And as I said, I would not be surprised if they get disrupted. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Cannons doing a little bit of damage to the parliamentarian units. Uh, tell me if I'm saying it right. Par parliamentarian units. And our unit is probably going to break in this melee phase. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Sorry, just had to save my game there. And just remember, Uncle Sam always has your back. Thank you.